Wow, guys, what a mess. Oh, my goodness. Man, I didn't know it was that bad when I went to bed last night. Let's get this cleaned up. guys welcome back to msrrc yeah finally got my desk cleaned up work table everything back in shape so oh, got me warmer in the coffee yeah i went ahead and put the tires back on hear no evil see no evil got them washed and cleaned back up nice and sticky yeah, uh, we going to do a little project today. I've been wanting me a build table to build uh, chassis and stuff all along. And uh, Nettie gave me this piece here. It is a aluminum plate with plastic in between, which I thought uh, will make a perfect build table. So I got it marked centered. It is a 12, and I'll see. Let's see, it is 22 inches long. Let's see, I'm going to cut it down, square it up at a 12 and a half. Yeah. Take it up there, take it up to the shop, and uh, gonna put it on the bandsaw and cut this side here off. And then I'm gonna take a uh, knife and scar this both both ways, and that'll leave a marking on my my metal. And then I can set up my chassis off. This is what it's for. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, this is what it's for. It's for the match chassis on. Y'all don't pay any attention to this chassis here, but it is regularly just a SCH10 chassis. Uh, but you can mount your chassis on it at the right height you need. Then you can mount your axles at the length you need, which Whatever which way you want it for your axles to sit at at the right length, then you can know how to build your links for the right fitment, and it'll be all square. That is what I want to build a table for. Plus, if you ever decide to build a cage on it, it'll be mounted square, and you can come off of the chassis and make the cage square to the chassis that is what a build table is for well that's what i'm going to use it for anyway yeah uh let's get this up to the shop get it trimmed up and we'll be right back we up here in the shop we're going to get this line here cut out on this piece of plate here <laughs> This thing didn't have a uh, protection coat over it like the back side did. Uh, yeah, so I went ahead and took the DA sander and knocked off the uh, spray paint. It ain't as pretty as I want it to be, but it don't really matter. Get a little towel and dry it off since I took some Windex and wiped it down. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to recenter it, a line across it both ways. Let's look at it. See, these 
these are that's an inch from the edge that's you have inch mark these or you have the small ones have the big ones for inch that is what that for they don't have to have no measurement but it will i can line it up from this side to this side and it'll be I'd say 98, 99 percent square, so that's be way close enough. Let me get this chassis back down. Like I said, don't pay attention to my setup here. That's uh, something else I'm working on. <coughs> All right, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna center this chassis up. When uh. I'm gonna make my mountain points come off the side here, off the trans, off the transmission to the plate here. It is a rector set. This will should give me all the angles I need. So, I, if I want to bolt something up like this and come out, yeah, look at here. I'm going to come back to it and it'll be mounted onto the build table. Okay, well, we got it on the build table, we got everything mounted up. Uh, the axles I uh, hadn't mounted them to the table yet because uh, I really got to get the body fixed so I can be able to set up the wheelbase on it first because I got some changing around I got to do. But do not pay any attention to this setup on this chassis because this is just a, just to get the table built so I can be able to use it. Uh, Tell you a little more about it at the end of the video. Uh, so it's kind of set up like a 12 inch wheelbase. And you can adjust your axles up and down over how, what height you want or the chassis. Which I'm probably going to adjust the chassis down a little bit. And, uh, you know, get everything situated. Get everything where I want it at. But that is what I was talking about, a build table. So now, if I wanted to build, if this is the right height, and that's where I want my axle at, I can actually come in and measure my length of my lengths. That's a tongue tie. Whoop. I get this bolted down, centered. I come in, and I can measure my length. Get it around here where I can read. Right now, if I want to make a link for here, 110 millimeters. So that's how easy it will be. Uh, yeah, and if I ever decide to get through working on it, and I want to move it, just pick it up and move it. And it's there, it's solid, it don't move. Yeah, uh, this chassis. Guys, this is a build I'm doing. I can't say what it's for, but if you had not subscribed, please subscribe. But you definitely don't want to miss this video I'm build. I'm doing on this build. If you hadn't subscribed, subscribe. If you like what I do, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any comments, leave them down below. Thank y'all for watching MSR. Awesome. <laughs>